you going to help me with the video today? Hmm? Because it's all about you, you know. You think that's a good idea? You're going to help? Okay, I consider that a yes. Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Kaya, also known as Cuddly Kaya, and I'm Sandy, your host. Oh, you love mommy. There are definite ways to tell if your dog feels loyalty towards you. And I am sharing 10 things you can look for to see how you and your dog are doing. And there are two words that are confused when talking about this subject. Loyalty and bonding. We all have a concept of what they mean. I just want to refresh to put it more in the context of this video. So let's look at the definitions between the two. Loyalty is a strong feeling of support or allegiance. So I'm going to say the synonyms here are respect and obedience. Loyalty equals respect and obedience. And bonding are shared feelings, interests, and experiences. So I'm going to say bonding is equivalent to friendship. So the first way to know if your dog is bonded to you is are they excited when you come home? This is one of the most enjoyable signs in my opinion. In this video I had been out of state to visit our daughter who had had surgery and help her and when I returned Kaya couldn't tell me in enough ways how happy she was that I was finally back home. She had been with her daddy, my husband, in our home the whole time. And he was watching her and they get along great. And so I wasn't really expecting such a grand show of affection. But I was sure happy to get it. And I think in this video you can hear in my voice that I missed her just as much as she missed me. Oh, and I missed my husband too. Of course. Absolutely. The next thing they do is they like to snuggle your clothing, your shoes, your socks, something that belongs to you. Dogs have a very strong sense of smell and your clothes carry your unique scent and so they find comfort in resting with that scent nearby. It's really a sweet, sweet way for them to show you they're loyal to you. The third way is they rest their head on you. This is a dog's way of, well, there she goes. This is a dog's way of showing affection and saying that they feel safe with you and they trust you. Great, great timing, Kaya. <laughs> Number four is they make eye contact. And this comes naturally with a dog who is loyal and bonded. They're expressive and they want to understand what you are feeling and communicating with them. You going to help? Okay, I consider that a yes. And the fifth way is they like to keep an eye on you. Kaya will look back to see where I am if I'm coming, lagging behind when her dad is taking her for a walk. And if she's off leash, she stays within eye contact of me to make sure I'm still there. That's a dog who's bonded with you, wants to be with you, con concerned about you. They also listen when you speak. This is the sixth thing. And they show signs of trying to understand by cocking their head because pleasing you is a loyal dog's goal. The seventh way is do they seek your affection? This is another very enjoyable way for me uh, and I've noticed a lot of changes in Kaya lately. Kaya used to almost exclusively come to me when she wanted affection by jumping on my lap or sitting beside me on the couch. My husband Paul would walk her and talk to her occasionally and he tried 
but her affection was primarily safe for me. It kind of made me feel bad for Paul because he was putting as much time as he could into bonding with Kaya when she was a puppy. Well, almost a year ago, when she was about two, Paul retired. And I have seen a noticeable difference in her desire to show him more affection now. It's because he's around more. He talks to her more, and she's started seeking his affection and has become much closer to him as a result. She'll often just jump in his lap instead of mine. And sighing. As an example, when you feel relief because you've finished a difficult project, you're likely, at least I'm likely, to grab my favorite beverage, which is iced tea, and sit down to rest with a sigh of contentment. I've finished, I'm done, it's over. Dogs do the same thing. And it usually happens when your dog lies down to rest near you or to go to bed for the night. They might ruffle their blanket or chew on a toy or a bone for a minute or two, but they eventually settle down near you and just sigh before they drop. Just like that. I can't believe it. You're doing great. She did it just then <laughs> to say that they're comfortable with you their favorite person. Boy, your timing's great today. Another thing they do, the ninth one, is guarding. Kaya started guarding me early in her puppyhood. She would bark and run around me and let me know someone was coming towards us or someone had walked up to the door. Then it started going a step further as she got older. She began growling at anyone who came toward me. I'd pick her up and she would continue to growl until I encouraged her to smell the stranger's hand. Very good, you're so good today. And the visitor would interact with her. Now this can be annoying when it first begins to happen and you'll obviously have to help your dog uh, differentiate between the friend that they see all the time or the family member and a stranger. But it's their way to say, I love you and I don't want anyone we don't know near you. And the last way is do they give you a happy smile? This is another favorite thing I love to see on Kaya's face. I see it a lot, but I rarely have a camera ready to capture that really short-lived event. I also see it when she's doing her happy trot which is when she's so happy to be out on a walk and she looks back at me and it's there's a smile on her face like, I love this walk, Mom. So, how did your she chi do when you compared if they exhibited these behaviors to see who they are most loyal to in the family? Well, if you aren't happy with their score, here are some things you can do to improve their loyalty to you. Feed them. Now that sounds silly, but they look to you for food. So if someone else has the task of feeding the dog, take that job for yourself. You'll see their attitude changes pretty quickly towards you. But it's not just the food. It's the time you are spending with them and teaching them new things. Have a routine. I've said that a lot because dogs respond to structure in their lives and having the knowledge of when something is going to happen, like dinner or their walk, or maybe you sit down in the evening in your favorite chair, like this is my favorite chair, and they want to join you there. Bonding happens when you are gentle and patient with your dog. They respect the person that's always kind, soft-spoken, and looking out for their best interest. The benefits that come with the love you give your dog are given right back to you. If you want to hear a true story where that dog literally saved my life, you can see that next. If you have a topic that you have not seen me cover that you would like to hear about, please put it in the comments below.